continuity and differentiability. Let us consider a function defined as fx is equal to 1 if x is greater than or equal to 0 and fx is equal to 2 if x is less than 0. For all real values greater or equal to 0, its value is 1 and for x is less than 0, its value is 2. It means it is defined at every point on real line. Let us examine point close to x equal to 0 in the graph. At points near and to right of 0, that is, points like 0 0.1, 0 0.01 and 0 0.001 etc. The value of function is 1. Similarly, at the points near and to the left of 0, at points like minus 0 0.001 minus 0 0.01 minus 0 0.1, the value of function is equal to 2. If we use left and right limits of function fx, they do not coincide. We cannot draw graph of such functions without lifting pen from the paper or in one stroke. It means this function is not continuous at x is equal to 0. Suppose f is a real function on a subset of real numbers and let c be a point on the domain of f. If the left hand limit, right hand limit and the value of function at x is equal to c exists and are equal then f is said to be continuous at x is equal to c. Limit of function at x is equal to c is equal to value of the function at x is equal to c. If function f is not continuous at x is equal to c, then we say f is discontinuous at c and point of discontinuity of f. Let us examine continuity of function fx is equal to mod of x at x is equal to 0. By definition, mod of x can be written as fx is equal to minus x for x less than 0 and plus x for x greater than or equal to 0. Clearly, function is defined at x is equal to 0, its value is 0. Now check left hand side limit, it is 0. Similarly, right hand limit is also equal to 0. Thus, left hand limit, right hand limit and value of function at x is equal to 0 is equal to 0. Hence, fx is continuous at x is equal to 0. A real function f is said to be continuous if it is continuous at every point in domain of f. Suppose f is a function defined on a closed interval a and b. Then for f to be continuous, f needs to be continuous at every point in A and B, including endpoints A and B. Continuity of F at A means limit of Fx at X tends to A plus is equal to Fa. Similarly, continuity of F at B means limit of Fx at X tends to B minus is equal to Fb.